payback period is the traditional tool available for appraisal of investment proposals so payback period is basically the time period that is required for cash inflows to meet the initial cash outlay or the time period that is required where the cash inflows matches the cash outflow so what are the steps in payback number 1 is you have to calculate what is the initial cash outflow the number 2 is you should calculate what is the annual expected after tax that is the net cash flow and number 3 is you should compute the payback which is nothing but total investment divided by annual after tax net cash flow here if you have uniform cash flows only then you can use this that is total investment divided by annual after tax net cash flow let's say your investment is 1 lakh and every year the project generates 20000 then 1 lakh divided by 20000 five years but if the project is going to carry uneven cash flows or the cash flows are not uniform then you cannot apply this formula rather you have to see the period for cumulative cash flows that is every year cash flow should be added and in the period in which the cumulative cash flows matches the initial outlay that would be the payback period let us understand the advantages and limitations of payback period the advantages are this is very easy to compute and easy to understand it also indicates the time risk in the project i mean how long it would take to pay back and this is especially useful when you have repayment pressure probably you have funded the project by taking a loan for a shorter period and if the project takes long time to repay back then the time risk comes to your knowledge so that you don't take up that project but this also has certain limitations one is this concept ignores the time value of money and number 2 it focuses on the repayment period and if the repayment period is early or longer the decision may be taken on yes or no but it ignores the profitability after the payback period and third one is too much focus is on short term which reduces the focus on long term projects so which would uh, reduce the competitive position 